Welcome back to another PT Pearl. I'm Doc Jen. And I'm Dr. Dom. You're listening to the Optimal Body Podcast, and it is a new year. 2021. We're out of 2020. And we're going to talk about all the things of how to get started so that you can really set yourself up for success in a new year rather than stress. So heading into another podcast and heading into another year. (laughs) Happy New Year to everybody. Can't wait to dive into another year. And I love today that we're just going to be talking about how to start the new year, how to quote start over, how to get back on the bandwagon, whatever you want to say. Because I know the new year is when a lot of people likes to make their resolutions and likes to say they're going to do all these crazy things forever and infinity. What's the reality? How do we have a successful start to the new year? Yeah, I think when we put so much pressure on, it's the new year. Now I'm fine. It's like a Monday. The new year is like a Monday. (laughs) I'm finally going to eat well. I'm going to work out. I'm going to do all my work. And then you get home and you lay in bed and you watch Netflix and chill. (laughs) That's like, I feel like the new year. And then it just is like stress and shame and all of these things of, I didn't do that that I said I was going to do. I've already failed at this. And, you know, Mm. it builds stress. I think within that, there's a couple things that we can dive into right away, like resolutions. One, Mm -hmm. how to make good, sustainable resolutions and how to, too, not set yourself up for failure with this expectation that that was my resolution. I'm going to do it. And then when something isn't going right, how to not feel like, oh, I failed. Yeah, this is bad. And I like to look at it on like a whole picture, right? What is it that you want not only for a new year, Mm -hmm. but for a new day, right? Mm -hmm. What is it that you want for a new week, for a new month, for a new hour, for a new moment? We get to choose every single time we step into something, you know? And I remember even listening to Brennan Bouchard one time. And he said, every time I step through a door frame, the minute, the minute that I go through that door frame, I'm choosing joy because I want to come into a room with joy. I want people to see that on me. And so it's the same thing within our body. If it, you know, you get to choose every single moment. It doesn't have to be a door frame. It doesn't have to be joy. It can be whatever you make it. But that's what yeah. I think resolution should more be generally geared toward rather than what am I going to do for the year and how is this year going to be so different? But how is this moment, this week, this month, this, you know, Mm -hmm. moment going to be? How am I going to choose to show up? And I think (laughs) intention is I, you know, the feeling of intention, who you want to be, what are the actions that you're going to take to be that person? I think that's really what we get to focus on because then it becomes less about the thing. It becomes less about the diet or this specific workout. But if I want to choose to be more, have more energy, if I want to choose to show up to people, to be reliable, to be loyal, what are the things that I have to do? Like I get to be loyal to myself. Am I drinking enough water? Am I getting enough sleep so that I have the energy to show up to people? You know, am I moving every single day so that I have the energy to show up? And it's mm-hmm. like, what are those practices that really help to set the intention of who you want to be? And I think that is like my mantra for now going on. So I've heard this in personal development classes and stuff Mm. like that, where typically people will say, I want to have this thing, so I'm going to do this. And then once I do that, I'll be this person, right? And they try to really coach you around instead of trying to have the thing in order to be a person, because you don't know if you're going to be happy at the end of that. You know, why don't you choose to be happy And then do the things and then you'll have the practice, right? And what I like to say is like, yes, you can set the intention on who you want to be, but it really starts with what are you doing in order to be that person? And so for me, it's still the do part because if I want to be a loyal person, that means I am showing up for my friends over and over again. And if I want to be loyal to myself, I'm showing up for myself, even in the moments where it's uncomfortable or it's hard or I have to sacrifice a little bit of something, right? I'm still showing up for myself. So for me, it's really what are the the doing, the practices, our breath work together, build our connection. 
if I want to be connected to you, I get to do the things that really bring us into connection. Yeah, absolutely. And then instead of focusing on, I don't like to focus on the have word because then you'll have all the things. I like to focus on the enjoy. And that's what like one of my favorite coaches, Krista Petty, she she's a somatic therapist and someone I worked with. And she's just so real in the way that she presents this work too because again a resolution feels like it's the one thing that i'm going to take on and it's then going to hold me through you know the rest of time it doesn't always work like that it's it's the ability to choose over and over and over again so just like you said you know some of your morning practices or journaling might go away for a period of time and then how can i choose to bring it back in yeah. and i think that's how we can start to look at resolutions like it's not a failure it's not a something that like oh i didn't do the things to be the person i want to be okay recognize it acknowledge it now what can i do to make a different choice in this moment and that's really what it is who how am i showing up again and again like trust loyalty consistency is choosing that thing over and over and over again it's not being perfect all the time dom and i are both all about the fills fill it all yeah <laughs> and and it truly is true like you have to fill it in order to free it and it's even pain if we're trying to avoid pain it's going to continue to scream and scream and scream and so feel it acknowledge it move into it that's how we start to free it. And that's what we try to bring you every podcast and a little education into your body. That's what we try to bring you with the programs. A great post from my friends, Bethany. And she has like five kids, I believe. I mean, it's just so many. <laughs> but, but she was showing herself like, this is what working out means. And this is what it looks like. And she's super buff and more ripped than I am for sure. But it's not beyond appearance and aesthetics of so she commits to herself and she said no matter what it looks like this is what i get to do for me every single day and it's gonna happen no matter again no matter if i'm holding a kid in my arm as i'm doing step ups right. or, or people are running around and i'm chasing them throughout the workout this is what i get to do for me and my kids get to also see how i'm taking care of myself as i show the example of what it means to do that and I love seeing my movers who post like stories or anything of the optimal body workouts and their kids are either doing it with them the or watching. Time lapses or, the kids are yeah. just like running around. <laughs> They're like the underneath them. They're, and it's so, it, it brings me so much joy because I know growing up, like my mom always showed me that example. And I yeah. got to see that that isn't something you have to do. It is a lifestyle. It is something that you choose to do every day because it makes you feel good. It keeps you healthy mm -hmm. and it gives you the energy that you need to be you. And my mom's a beast, so she's a little bit of a different human, but yeah. <laughs> she continued to always preach in that example. And I'm so insanely, insanely grateful for it. Who do you want to be? Choose that. Now, what are the actions that you're going to do? And choose it again and again and again. Fall off, choose it again, choose it again, choose it again. And so hopefully, you know, you get to embrace that. It's not just in the new year, but it's in the moment. It's in the day, in the week, in the month. And if you need to write down, I even have three words that I write down on my alarm. And so every single day, you know, I wake up and I see this. These are, these are the three things that I'm choosing to be today. Thanks so much for joining us on another PT Pearl from the Awesome Body Podcast. We appreciate you guys so, so much. If this resonated at all, leave a comment, like it, share it out who you think could really, you know, use this in the new year moving forward as well.